Here's what this program does line by line. Up here we're setting a color variable with these values. Here's the setup block. First thing we do is tell it to make the background the color that we set up here and we're telling it what size to make the display window. Here in the draw block we're setting a default fill color and then we have two if statements one after another. The first one says that if the cursor is greater than 100 in X and less than 100 in Y to make the fill this color. So this logical and here means that both of these have to be satisfied in order to execute this command. All right, same down here, but we're just giving it different places to look for and then a different fill color in case this is true. When you write if statements that aren't nested, that are separate from each other, you have to make sure that the test couldn't be satisfied by both of them at the same time because that will give you strange results that you're not expecting. Even if both of these turn out not to be true, we're going to draw this rectangle every time and the ellipse is going to follow the mouse around. So let's see what it looks like when it's running. Alright, so there's our rectangle. It doesn't move, but it does change color depending on where the cursor is. The circle follows the mouse around and it changes color, just like we specified.